I guess my favourite part of the series is mainly the travelling because you know we filmed in we filmed in the kind of places that I would never necessarily normally go to, uh, uh, and we filmed we filmed, filmed in some extraordinary places. So I always like the travelling side of things. Um, I like being proved wrong in a way. Often we'll we'll embark on a story where I'm convinced of one thing, and then by the end of it, um, I'm, I'm convinced of another. Um, the final episode of this particular series. Uh, involves the uh, uh, King Arthur and whether there was anything more to King Arthur than the sort of Arthurian legend that we're familiar with of the Knights of the Round Table and Guinevere and Merlin and Sword of the Stone. Uh, and that's, I was pretty convinced at the beginning of that episode that that's all there was, that King Arthur was indeed uh, a, a, a myth. Uh, and yet during the making of the Arthur episode, uh, we uncovered all kinds of evidence that there was indeed a king whose name wasn't Arthur, but his title might have been. Uh, I won't ex give away too much because you have to kind of watch the episode, really. Uh, but we certainly find some pretty compelling evidence that there was indeed a uh, King Arthur, and he actually lived, and, and we think we might have even found out where he was buried. And if there's a burial site, then there must have been a real King Arthur. Interestingly, during the course of the show, uh, I met some vampires, which was... Interesting, to say the least. But what was more fascinating for me was to try and understand what, where the stories of vampires come from.